Today I'm going to show you how to install Alinium Appearance. It's a free clothing script that replaces QB clothing and other clothing resources. It has many features, one being tattoo support. You can check them all out in the documentation. I'll leave a link to that and the resource in the description. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Before we get started, make sure you have the dependencies installed. The only one you should need to add is Oxlip, so make sure you install it correctly. Then go over to the releases, and we'll download this version here. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then drag it in. Once it's done, go to your server CFG and ensure the resource. We're going to put it right under Oxlib. Once you've done that, click the link in the description that takes you to the documentation. Then go to the QB Core installation. We're looking for this code here, so copy this. Go back to your server CFG. And we'll add it here. Then hit File and Save. After you've done that, go back to the installation guide. And the next thing you need to do is delete QB Clothing or 5M Appearance and any Tattoo Shop resources. Let's so go back to your resources. Go into the QB section, find QB clothing and delete it. We're also going to go to QB apartments and into the FX manifest and remove the QB clothing dependency. Then go to QB houses and do the same thing. The next thing you need to do is delete the player outfits table from your database. Delete the player skins table as well, only if you don't want to use the migration feature. So open your database however you do. And find player outfits. Right click and click drop. Next you need to add the SQL files provided in the resource. Click the folder here to load the SQL file. If it isn't there already, go into the resource and into the SQL folder. We'll start with this one, so we'll open, select yes, and then execute, and then we'll repeat the process. Next, we need to make edits to the multi-character resource, so when you're at the installation guide, go to the multi-character section. The supported resources are listed below. I'm using the default, so it'll be this one. If you are using one of these, just click it and it'll take you to the appropriate steps. So we're going to copy this here. Then go to QB multi-character server main Lua. Once you're there, hit Control and F, and then paste what you copied. It'll take you here. Go back to the installation guide and copy this block of code here. Then highlight this, and hit Paste, then hit File and Save. Then go back to the guide and copy this here. Then we're going back to QB Multi-Character into the client and open the main.lua. Once you're in there, do control F again and paste what you copied. Then we'll go back to the guide and copy this block of code here. Then highlight this section and paste. Then hit file and save. The next step is the migration. You need to be connected to your server for this. So when you're at the installation guide, go to the migration section. Go to QB Core and then QB Clothing. We're going to copy this here. Then go into your server and paste what you copied and hit enter. And once they're all done, leave the server and restart it. Before I join the server again, I'm going to briefly go over some options in the config. 
the first section are the costs for each shop, adjust to your liking. Then there's how players are charged for tattoos. The amount set above is how much they get charged for one. You can add specific costs for them by adding a cost section in the tattoos.lua. Then you have compatibility for arc or tattoos. If you aren't using that, keep it set to false. I'm keeping the next option false as well. Then you have the option to enable the target or not. By default, you press E to access the clothing menu. Enabling the target spawns a pet that you'll have to third eye instead. The next section is for the text and notify locations. Then you have the length of outfit codes. I won't be changing that. The next options are for the radio menu to be used to access the clothing. If you want to use Ox's radio menu, both options must be set to true. Then you have some pet options. With the target enabled, there will be a pet to third eye in the shops, clothing rooms, and player outfit rooms. You can disable them if you want. Then you have the pet menu options, which is a command and who can access and use it. That's followed by commands for job and gang outfits. Next, there's the option to only show the nearest shop on the map and whether or not you want to have the minimap visible when players are in the menu and the delay for blips to update if you have it set to only show the nearest shop. Then there's the option to prevent tracker removal. This takes away the scarves and chains category for players to have a tracker on. Below that is the clothing number for the tracker. The next section is for new characters in the categories they see during character creation. I'm going to skip to boss manage outfits. This allows job and gang bosses to manage the outfits for their job or gang. If you set it to true, be sure to run the management outfits SQL. I showed how to do that earlier on in the video. There's more information on that in the install guide. After that is the reload skin cooldown. It's a command that refreshes the player's appearance, adjust to your liking. Then there is an automatic fade option for hair and the option to use ace permissions. If you want to use them to blacklist peds, clothing, or hair, there's information on how to do that in the installation guide. After that is the option to disable components or sections of the menu and options for the blips, so how they look and what the label is. Then there's options for the target and the peds in the shop, so you can change the model, scenario, so what they're doing, the icon when you third eye them, and the text next to the icon. That's followed by the shops and their locations, the clothing rooms for jobs, player outfit rooms, and the preset outfit for jobs. If you have custom clothing, you can change the numbers and adjust the grades here. The last section in here is the initial player clothes. They look like Danny's. If you want them to look different or you have custom clothing, you can change that here. If you made any changes, be sure to hit file and save, then start your server and test it out. Okay, so I'm back in the server and at one of the clothing shops. So I'll go ahead and save this outfit. Then go in and get it and buy clothing. We'll just change the jacket and the pants, and then we'll save. And it took my money. So I'll go back and change outfit and go back to the one I saved. That'll be all for this video. That was brief. There are more features, obviously. Once you have it installed, check it out and get comfortable with it. If this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a sub. If you need help or have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.